Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are the best phones under 10,000 rupees. There are all kinds of phones in this price range offering different things to different users. If you want a simple answer, buy Redmi Note 3, 16GB variant or the Redmi 3S Prime. If you want to know more about the reasons or other phones in the list, keep watching. So my first suggestion would be Redmi Note 3, 16GB variant currently sold at 10,000 rupees. It has only 2GB RAM and 16GB internal storage. If you are planning to use the SD card, then 16GB of internal storage will be sufficient and 2GB of RAM is good enough for smooth multitasking and good performance. It offers the best performance in the price range and the performance does matter in long run. Besides performance, you get bigger and better display, IR blaster, fingerprint scanner and best cameras in the price range. It is currently running MIUI 8 and it will get updates for a very long time and rooting won't void your warranty. I would recommend this phone for regular users and tech enthusiasts and anyone who wants a simple answer. Moving down the list, we have the Redmi 3S Prime. It has 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. It is sold at 9000 rupees. It has pretty good cameras, bigger battery and a smaller 5 inch screen. Besides that, it has all the same perks from Redmi Note 3 like IR blaster, fingerprint scanner and long term updates. I would recommend this phone for people who mainly want a smaller phone. If you don't mind using bigger phone, buy Redmi Note 3. Besides all that advantage, with Xiaomi phones you can get MI Protect which is an accidental damage insurance policy. So if you drop it, break it, drop it in the water, you can get it fixed for free. So that's a very big advantage for all the Xiaomi phones. Next we have Moto G4 Play. To be blunt, it has nothing special but it does all the basic stuff right. To be honest, better than Redmi Note 3 or the Redmi 3S. It is the only phone in this list with a smaller size, removable battery, dedicated SD card slot and front facing speakers. As I said earlier, it has nothing special but it has all the things a normal user want. It lacks performance, it has Snapdragon 410 processor but due to the stock Android experience, it will run very smoothly. I would recommend this phone for people who are persistent about brand and for people who want to use two SIMs along with the SD card. It is currently running Android 6.0 and it will get the next version of Android 7.0 Nugget. Next in the list is Lenovo Vibe K5 Plus. It has 3GB RAM, Full HD display and good audio experience. And these are all the highlights of this phone. It's not much but if you are looking for the best audio experience in this price range with a smaller form factor, then go for this phone. It has decent cameras and decent performance too. In terms of performance, it's the second best in the list along with ASUS MAX. Finally, we have ASUS Zenfone MAX 2016 edition. This phone is sold for 10,000 rupees and you can definitely skip the 2015 edition sold at 9,000 rupees. It has a huge 5000 mAh battery, decent performance and a very responsive UI. It comes with ton of bloatware which can be disabled or uninstalled. Its cameras are not good as Redmi Note 3 but still pretty good. Buy this phone, but this phone is damn heavy. It weighs like 204 grams and if you don't mind the weight and if you want huge battery, then buy this phone. Finally, some honorable mentions, Moto E3 Power. It's good enough for very basic users, it has huge battery, but it's not good enough as a long term phone. If you are planning to use this phone for 2-3 to three years, then it's a very big no. And it's not going to get the next version of Android according to the official statement from Moto. Next we have Le Echo 1S Echo. It's an amazing phone but lacks SD card support. If you can ignore that, I'll place it as the second best phone in this list. It has got good performance, 32GB of internal storage, IR blaster and fingerprint scanner. You get one year Le Echo membership for free. So you can basically enjoy a lot of content online for free. Next we have Coolpad Note 3 and the Note 3 Plus. When it was first released, I was a huge fan of Coolpad. I bought it for my dad, but after sales support is horrible. It's a good phone, but due to my personal bad experience, I'm not suggesting this phone. Besides that, there are still some software bugs and it doesn't get frequent updates. But the phone itself is actually pretty solid. If you're getting a very good deal on it, then if you don't mind the crappy after sales support, you can go for it too. To summarize, if you are a regular user, buy the Redmi Note 3 or the Redmi 3S Prime. If you are fixated on the brand, then buy the Lenovo K5 Plus or the ASUS Max 
or the G4 Play. And the priority is the same as I've said above. K5 Plus is preferable over Asus Max and Asus Max is preferable over Moto G4 Play. By the way, after sale support for Lenovo and Moto phones are handled by the same company. If you're a tech enthusiast, then buy a Redmi Note 3, root it and you will be able to move apps to the SD card. And with some effort, you can manage with 2GB RAM and 16GB internal storage. The next best option in terms of performance will be Lenovo K5 Plus, followed by Asus Max and the Redmi 3S Prime. For media consumption and battery life, once again Redmi phones will be better. And if you are really into audio, like if you listen to a lot of music, then K5 Plus will be the best choice for you. So that brings us to the end guys. These are my best picks and if you have any recommendations, feel free to let me know by commenting below this video. If you like this video, hit that like button and if you don't, hit that dislike button and please let us know why your feedback really helps us improve. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, do subscribe and stay tuned to us. This is Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.